Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to an installment of something that is not a quick view. It can't be a quick view because I can't think of a way to do this fairly, right? I have a set of... Com I have a combo on loan. And this is that combo. So, what, super shafty wheels. These are G8 Hyrax LPs, 2.2 Hyrax LPs on Three Brothers dual stage 3D printed inserts. So what today is going to have to be, what this is, this is an exercise. This is an exercise in what we will be calling this or that. Because this is our, is our man Ratchet. And Ratchet is fitted with Traxxas 2.2 Canyon Trails that have been cut. They are on the default, the factory included dual stage inserts that come with 2.2 Canyon Trails. And other than that, nothing has been done to them. There's like, there's nothing fancy about the insert in there at all. It's the stock insert. Nothing has been done to the tire. It is S1 compound. But you can get these. If you have Canyon supporters, you can get these for free. But if you have to pay for them, you're looking at, I want to say, I want to say it was $24 a pair. Because I had to buy a set. And then I got a bunch sent in. So 50 bucks plus wheels, uh, about $42 for the wheels. So his whole combo that you're looking at here, four wheels and four tires coming in at 1,000 grams exactly, $92, which is not egregious. I shudder to think what even just one of these costs, much less all four. These come in at 925 grams for the full set. The level of offset, he should be the tiniest bit narrower on the Hyrax, but it will be acceptable. And the Hyrax is obviously, we're going to, this is why I didn't pull one right away. Uh, I figured he wasn't going to be a test guy, so he's on these G-made hubs. We'll just, we'll just do it with a ruler. These tires are, as stated by Traxxas, 5.3 inches tall, and they come in at, whoa, about 55 millimeters wide. Not particularly wide for a 2.2, but the Hyrax LPs stand in at pretty much dead 5 inches. You might say 5 and a 16th, which for you those out there, I would say in the 12728 millimeter. And in terms of width, these are about 48, 49, which for a 2.2 is particularly narrow. So these will be the, the PSI out on the ground. It will be like these are running a lower effective pressure. But all the advantages in the world to the Hyrex LP. Uh, Ratchet is not a particularly lightweight boy. He's also not particularly heavy, I don't think. I want to say he's in around that six area. 2,809 grams, 6.18 pounds. Yeah, so for a guy that's rocking 2.2 pounds of wheels, he's not particularly heavy, and most of his weight is going to be down low. As he is running Me Us axles from Amazon, he has zero grams of added weight. The only weight comes from the wheel tire combos. There's no, there's no chassis weight, there's no axle weights, knuckle weights, portal weights, none of that stuff. So he is what he is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of like a modified junk view run where we will do the, the, the little tests around. Uh, we'll throw Slick Rock in there. We will do the staircase. We will do Daphne's. We will do the notch. And we'll do Daphne's third, like the usual. But we're not going to put numbers down. What we're basically just doing is we're doing a this versus that. And, like, I would have to call this the economy version. Certainly. These are brand new. Never run. Look at the shininess. 
and we will see. I'm going to have to take the correct tools out there with me. And you've seen, I've got the, I've got the wounded thumb. So getting things like this off are not super fun. Oh, I'm regretting, I'm regretting my decisions to put, I mean, I love the look of them. Look how good those hubs look. But I am certainly regretting my decisions uh, to have put them on there because it's going to be, it's going to be a pain in the tuchus. I'm going to take wheel nuts with me. I'm going to put them in my pocket. Listen, they don't really, they're, they're, those are going in my pocket. All right. All right. We should be prepared. We should be ready. This is not a quick view because this is the best case scenario for these as far as I'm concerned. I mean, there's got to be, there's got to be some money in this, right? Like easily double. What's it here? I'm, I'm thinking probably closer to triple. I never did look up what these wheels cost, but I don't imagine that they're inexpensive. So, let's do this or that. Like, uh, uh, this is Lucy Goose. We're not, we're not given numbers. It's just what would this have to do to justify its cost over this? I guess that's the question. That's my own personal question that I'm trying to answer. And uh, as we have said and I have said, and the royal us have all said it's all content baby so let's find out what we find out i sit here in near virtual certainty that i forgot to mention side hilling we will of course test side hill uh, we go in like a little serpentine circuit so we'll start here at slick rock are there any issues why 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 would there be slick rock right hand got to get across there right there as i said the it's psi he's putting so little weight on any tire at any given moment and a little little mini compliance test here Let's see front fully flexed and the rear still in contact with the ground oh well managed managed to pop it a little he's got a bit of a long skid to fit that gearbox, but it's a responsive tire. Is it gonna cut in enough? Yeah. The, the Tutu Canyon Trail sets a relatively high bar, particularly on a rig that's barely six pounds. Did I almost forget to go to the staircase? You know I did, I walked right by it. Some lug noise, we'll compare that lug noise to any future lug noises. Just that, that inch was just an inch too far right. And then we, we correct it out. You will also hear, I, I don't know if the lug noise is gonna transfer between tires, uh, like if we'll hear the same kind of lug noise because we must, we must take into account that ratchet is 25% rear underdrive brought to us by the gearbox. You can see right in that instance, that front tire is moving a lot faster than the back tire. Yeah, it's, it's everything I expect it to be. It's kind of what I designed him to do. Daphne's at Undertaker. Again, long skid, but nice tall tire. The further right you are, the better you're doing. I don't know if we're gonna get any pumpkin on there. Little traction hop. Okay, that's a far, that's a, oh, he, sh he shuttled it back. I was gonna say, usually that far left, we wouldn't count as victory, but he, he, he managed to push it back. We'll try, we'll try the straight, the gut shot. This is generally more difficult, but it's more difficult for rigs running shorter tires. Let's see, we, we got two, we got two grooves. And it's trying to get into the groove. That was, an, that was an excellent reposition there. We don't have quite enough weight. Yeah, see, he kind of makes his own, he goes his own way. And the, the idea here is to wedge everybody into a box because hit that line 
It's not that the line take is bad, it's just that he has to kind of make his own line. There's the, there's the tiniest little bit of uncertainty uh, transferring over those river rocks right there. But it, if you've driven him for a little bit and you've driven these tires for a little bit, you really get a feel for where they're gonna grab. So when we get to those other boys, I'm looking at predictability, perhaps, as much as anything else. And like right in here, he feels not just planted, but like glued onto the ground. We've watched other tires struggle and suffer to, to push through that line right there. And he does it with a plum is the word that I would say. At no point did I feel any loss of traction or any slip that wasn't under my control at any point. That's why he runs Tutu Canyon trails. Roll into the notch here. It's a notch leading to another notch. His approach and breakover and departure, he's a li there it is. Where that passenger front is, is you wanna be able to position a tire right there. And then it's how we, we, we pull out on the exit here. I redirect, we come over. We see if we get the long skid hung on that point, and we do not. Like, he just, he, he go, 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 he just go, goes. And why not finish out this run by uh, showing uh, Daphne's third from the other side? You can really see the shadow prominent on that point of rock, which tends to shuttle, like what he just got right there, shuttle people to the right. So I need to... I need to reset my brain. There we go. I want to get over there and then cut back that way. So we, we nailed that on the first try if I'd ever sat here and tried to do it before. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you just, uh, beans. Canyon trails are as at home going low low as they are taking a big help in the beans. And soft side, what we've been calling soft side, and most rigs are turning into tough side. I don't know why. Uh, more rigs, more tires on rig tests have had an issue on that left-hand side than have had on the right-hand side. And the right-hand side was traditionally the more difficult side. So I don't know what to make of that, but Ratchet does them both on these with with no problems. So what we've done here is we are going to split so fine here. He didn't do anything except a little bit of a, of a flirt of a moment at Daphne's where I was like, oh, I wish he would shuttle a little more this way or that way, or I could keep him a little better under control. But like in the side hilling at the notch, everywhere else, just great. So what, what differences are we going to see with the premium stuff? That's, that's why we're all here, right? I only noticed after I had three of the four mounted up that we have two different offsets of hub. Uh, it's got for narrow in the back. It's probably, you know, very compy. It's probably 10 millimeters narrower in the, in the rear than it is in the front. <laughs> Yeah, there's more. There's, there's, there's a little bit more. There's, there's, there's a little bit more grip. <coughs> we are, we are a, f a fair bit narrower. Oh yeah, yeah yeah, yeah yeah. It's. It's just, it's more immediate. Not, not quite the compliance as one would expect with the, with the dual stage. There's a very, very different feel to driving it. Very different. They don't, they don't act supremely narrow. Yeah, right when we get to those spots where it's about it's about separation, 
It's about the front axle working independently of the rear axle because like there's not enough purchase, so we're trying to pull over. Advantage the canyon trail there. In in pure forward drive, yeah, these these have got it. I feel like I feel like this is going to be very telling right here. Die. Okay. All right. Did not see that coming. So even with that amount of underdrive in the rear, there it is. There it is. Again, throttle the throttle profile you have to employ is very different. Uh, I'm putting far less input in on these. As I said, the Canyon Trail is a tire that loves some some wheel speed. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're a little tippy with, from the width. Let's see here. But the pull up right there, uh, there's absolutely more forward drive. Certainly just, just in the tire. I think it's safe to say that G8 is softer than S1. And I'm not. In these instances, I'm not really noticing the width very much, except, well, let's just let's just swing it around town. When we came around right here, how is that for driving out of front? I couldn't see it at all. When we were right in here, barring that first time where I used too much uh, throttle, right in here, it's more certain and I think that is because both the narrower tire and the narrower track so the position ability is actually a little bit better because we're narrower what is that oh, is my controller battery going dead are you serious right now well, we're gonna make it through this we're gonna make we're gonna make it through this I'm just gonna have to assume there's gonna be an edge here Look how high up. But can it stay without the shuttle? No? And and the position back? Position back? It was almost indistinguishable. I I genuinely anticipated the Hyrax with all of the gubbins doing better right there. We went for the gut shot. a bit more of a right hand slide there it is that was nice but it's not it's not world shattering it this is not a drastic performance improvement this is a certainly in forward drive i would say forward drive is probably overall just raw forward drive that wedge of the imaginary pie chart is 20% bigger. There's a good bit more forward drive. But in terms of the, posi the, the, the position ability and, and like, like slip, like loss of forward motion due to whatever factor, it's, it's so close. We've got a couple radios here and it may as well be impossible to remember what radio is set to what low voltage alarm. And uh, this one was like 7.5 volts, which is, I don't know, like, not, like middle, that's 3.75 volts per cell. Like dead is 3.2. I don't know. And it kept alarming off so much that I had to go back into the menu like seven times to get that to turn off. Now, how does it feel here? And I know that's a very compy thing, but I don't, I don't do it. We have one or two rigs that the rear end is either intentionally or incidentally narrower than the front, but this is just too narrow for me overall. We're, we're using all, there it is. 
had to get past that sticking point. But with the 2-2 Canyon Trail and the width and the added width, both the track width of the rig, like the rims, there's more offset, and then the width of the tire itself, it's just more confident. You know, wider is better, as those commercials used to say. And honestly, up till now, I was expecting, I was expecting way more. So a term like better is wildly subjective. Is this better? Well, certainly not at, <laughs> at this obstacle. Get, get over there. Certainly not at this obstacle. I don't know. Like the insert and tire have so much drive, but there is an instant, there's an inserted element of just straight up uncertainty. And let's keep it real simple and plain. We don't do comp here at the canyon the way other places do. I was just talking to the gentleman to whom these tires and wheels belong about how if there were to be something in, in the realm of an official competition, like a real competition with other people running here in the canyon, uh, we would do it what I call Le Mans style, where everybody goes, right? If you've got a Tamiya CCO2 or you've got something from Deluxe Fab, or super shafty or something that costs two grand. Everybody goes together. And uh, what we will do to handicap that is we will just mock you relentlessly. Because if someone with a factory fresh TRX4 Bronco or somebody with an Ecto that's still running an SC480X does the same line as you in your carbon fiber dragonfly, that you're driving around on your cut and shuts, well, then, like, you just got smacked around a little bit. Like, your capabilities are so great that no line should give you any difficulty. You should, you should kill every line. I kind of built, the, the latest obstacle that's being built was kind of built with that in mind. That was kind of the idea of it. Like, I would expect this combo. That's a bad entry into Daphne's third right there. I would expect this combo to be able to do something with it. But there's... There's not really any more bite there. Like how far back do I have to get to the left? I've, I've got to reset. I don't, I don't understand the, the super narrow comp thing. I mean, yeah, gates. And, and we do our gates differently here. Uh, there are gates just to my right. And a, a canyon standard gate, as we're calling it, is about 15 inches. And we set them that way because I put gates in such places that sometimes you're going to have to go through them semi-diagonally, and it's going to make you hit them. Uh, a 10 inch gate to me is crazy because you're basically gonna have to align it in such a way as to where it's a, it's a straight gut shot for every gate. And that's not, that's not how we do. So the question is, what did I think? What I think is that all other factors not considered. So what I'm trying to do is uh, main, fabricate a level of ignorance. So we'll ignore the expensive wheels and we'll ignore the expensive inserts, and we will say, what does the high racks do if it's set up, if it's put onto Ratchet's day-to-day -day wheels? So we get that track width back. We're giving up wheel width. We're picking up some forward drive. 
at the end of any day, any calendar day, am I turning in my 2.2 S2 Canyon trails for Hyrax LPs? No. The Canyon Trail remains one of my favorite tires. It's right up there at the top, not because it has the absolute most forward drive or the absolute most grip in this situation. It has the imaginary pie chart that is closest to a disc of any of them. Its traction profile is so even and rounded and at the same time, you can always acknowledge that in its name, in the name of the tire, is the word trail. So the Canyon Trail is every bit as much at home here on River Rock or whatever surface you might be on, whether it be sticks and leaf litter and logs and wherever, it is the the tire that is well and truly not the best at anything, but is really quite good at everything. And for me, I'll take that. I will take that nine times out of 10, because if I'm building something so super specific for one thing, I don't know, it, it pulls some of the, the joie de vivre out of it, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Because on a day when Ratchet was built, I wanted to build, it was a, a theory, it was the realization of a theory. I thought, do offset transmission outputs make for like a flatter drive? Like see, he's still got the, the torque squat because his suspension is very soft. But what he can do is, and I don't know if I'll be able to get into a situation, but I can get into a situation like this where we're really cross-loaded, right? We're, we're using a ton of cross weight right here. It doesn't matter. The tire in this situation right here that has the least amount of, of load on it to provide traction is that passenger front. But I can nevertheless maneuver it until I can until I can get it to grab. So this rig was kind of built with the idea of an all around tire in mind. So maybe my problem, my sticking point with the high racks and with the, all the fancy stuff is that this rig is not the rig for those. Maybe if we moved a bunch of stuff around, I still think that the high racks would be right there. Like the, the circle, the pie graph of TAG, total available grip, isn't any bigger on the high racks than it is on the Canyon Trail. It's just that sliders are moved around. This tire is very rounded and the performance of the high racks is, is definitely biased towards forward drive, which I understand. I mean, that's a thing. They have a reasonable side lug. They have a good center lug. It's a good tire. I just think that the, like I said, when I reviewed in the same week, the Proline, both in G8, the Proline Baja Pro X and the Proline Flatiron, I found more forward drive. I would say more overall grip. Like the circle is a little bigger for the Pro X than it was for the Flatiron, but I like the Flatiron better. I still say it now. I like the Flatiron better than the Hyrax. The Flatiron, is great. I like that tire because it has a very rounded, even traction profile. It's not, it's not sacrificing a bunch of things to get one thing. And that's pretty good. So I don't know. I don't know if we came to a conclusion about anything other than my personal predilections. And I don't know if you can do something like this, if you can have an episode like this and it not be predominantly subjective because it is my opinion it is my feeling and it is what I want if the high racks were better like if it fulfilled the requirements that I have better than the tires that are on there right now 
I would change them. I'm not, I'm not undyingly devoted to any tire in any situation. If somebody better comes along, we're not tire monogamous, right? Uh, otherwise, I would have nothing but insert tire name here on every rig, and that's not how it works. The 2-2 Canyon Trail works best on Ratchet because I think in some level, when I was designing him and building him, that was the tire that he was being built for. So he was built to those tires. And I've put enough wheel time into Canyon Trails to kind of know what they want, I think one would say. So take away what you will. I'm not saying that the 2.2 Canyon Trail is better than the Hyrax LP. I'm saying that I like it more. I'm saying that I certainly prefer width over the compy, narrow rear, narrow front, cut and shut narrowed everything. I mean, that's obviously who they're going at with these tires. The LP Hyrax is, it's a cut and shut, right? It's a, it's a 2.2 that stands just a hair taller than a 1.9. So instead of having to cut up a bunch of tires and assemble them, they did it for you. And they're barely wider, just a couple millimeters wider than a typical 1.9. I get it. I just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's my bag, baby. So, so there you go. There you indeed go. I have no FOMO. Uh, I had no FOMO before, and now we've tested it, and we definitively know I have no fear of missing out. They're good. Just it's not what I want. And in this pursuit, in this dalliance with the toy cars, uh, wants exceed needs in virtually every imaginable situation. I want 2-2 Canyon Trails because I like them. No, no points taken away from the Hyrax, Hyrax LP. Like I said, this is not a quick view. This is a this or that. And I choose this. There you have it, everybody. Please do comment below if you think that I am a wingnut gone loose of his bolt. It's possible. Uh, please do uh, drop a like, subscribe, etc., etc. Get yourself a Crawler Canyon t-shirt. I have a cafe press store, which I don't 100% know how to operate. But the orders work. They're all getting fulfill fulfilled, so something's working. I would like to thank you for watching. I would like to invite you to tune in for whatever we might happen to have next. Who knows what that will be. And in between now and the time when we meet again, I do invite you one and all to have a good one, everybody. We will see you next time here in the canyon. And as we've kept you long enough today, I feel I need to say, I'm going to have to let you go.